So before I tell you why this uh, error is coming, cannot use import statement outside a model. Let me tell you that there are two types of models, basically, common JS and ES6. Okay, ES6 is the latest uh, addition into the ECMAScript or the JavaScript specification. So this is the standard way to create the models as per the JavaScript specification. So there are two models, common JS and ES6. But historically, Node.js uses the common JS models by default. So whatever files you write in JavaScript, they are treated as the common JS files. And this import keyword is actually used to import the ES6 models and not the common JS models. So what happens is when you try to run this particular code, Node.js will come here and then by default it, is, it will treat as, it as a common JS model. When it reaches here at uh, import keyword, since it is treating it as a common JS model, it throws this error that cannot use import statement outside a model. So here uh, the Node.js is expecting that this should be a ES6 model and not the common JS model because import keyword can be used on only ES6 models. So Node.js doesn't know that this is a ES6 model. Now to tell Node.js that okay this is a ES6 model and not the common JS model, what you have to do is you have to, there are two ways basically to tell Node.js that this is a ES6 model. First one is uh, you have to change the file extension from .js to .mjs. So now Node.js knows that this is a ES6 model and not the common JS. And when it encounters this import keyword, it is happy because ES6 models can use the import, so it will not throw the error. So if you run this code, this time around it will not throw the error. You can see it is printing the OS version as expected. So as I said, there are two ways to tell uh, Node.js that this is a ES6 model. First one is just change the extension of the JavaScript file to MJS. Another way is if you go to package.json file, you will see that there is a type property and you can set that property to the model. By default, this is set to the common JS. So when you specify nothing for this type attribute, it is considered as common JS. So I'll tell you. So if you just press colon here, you can see it is giving two attributes or two values, common JS, which are constants, common JS and model. So model can be either common JS or ES6 model. So model here is actually stands for ES6 model, that is standard JavaScript model. And common JS is historical one, old one we can, uh, we can say. You can put here model and then when you say model, the files, all the files will be treated as ES6 models and not the common JS models. And then you can use this import keyword happily.